Yes, it's happening. Honorable Wale Osho has expressed his opinion that Buhari may be the last elected president in Nigeria. And he has his reasons. One may say, yeah, but INEC has released timetable, blah, 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 blah. I'll quickly give you an instance. When we all entered into 2020, 2021, did you believe that the whole world, if somebody had told you in a dream that the whole world was going to go into lockdown, lockdown, will you believe it? You will say no. In fact, if the person tells you, don't bother about that American visiting visa you want to go and take, that you and your family will be going to America this year for a visit, don't bother because you will not get to use it. And there will be pandemic and the world will be on lockdown for almost two years. At the end of the day, the, I mean, if you go for visiting visa, they give you two years. Yes? By the time you're ready to travel, there'll be so much complications. You have to be vaccinated. You have to be this and that and that. You will not be able to travel again. You will tell the person, please go and sleep. Say something else. How can the whole world go on a shutdown, lockdown, say one thing, one thing? So if this man is saying that it is possible that Buhari may be the last president elected in this country, I think it's something for us to listen. Because already we all know what's going on in this country. Let's get all the details. Honorable. Wale Osho, the leader of the Afeni Ferry Group, is not known for many words. He's, economi he's economical with his words. Would not allow him to, he will not, his, his economic way with his words would not allow him to say anything that won't be, that would be controversial. However, in this interview, he literally threw a bombshell warning that President Muhammad Buhari might be the last president of Nigeria if he decides to walk away without addressing the agitation for restructuring of the country. The National Assembly has transmitted the Rework Electoral Amendment Act to President Muhammad Buhari for his assent. What is your take on the issue of the consensus candidate and the clause demanding res resignation of appointed public officers holders before going on for an election? I think the clause asking appointed public officers to resign before going in for an election is very reasonable request. I am of the old school when it comes to discussing whether public office holders should play politics not should play politics not or not play politics i have always expressed the view that public office holders should be totally non-political so that in discharge of their duties they can always be patriotic and res and responsible towards the social need of the people so if you are a public office holder, you intend to contest an election, then it makes a lot of sense for you to resign first. So the issue of conflict of interest will not arise. Most of the times, the people stay in office to contest an election and later go back to their position. It's wrong. They must take a decision. You either choose to be a politician or an appointed public holder. But regarding the second issue, which has to do with consensus. My view is that the National Assembly function of political parties, let them make their rules. Those who join political parties know what their obligations are. Nigeria is a diverse country. When you speak of consensus in certain parts of the country, one or two people can sit down and speak for the whole candidate because of the federal system. Sometime but in another part of the country, when you speak of consensus, you are talking of a marketplace. So we don't need to enforce the same regulation. To my, to, to, to my mind, I believe political office should be left to, to politicians should be left to decide on who their consensus candidates will be. What should INEC be doing? With the issue of restructuring, if Buhari does not address this issue before leaving office, something will happen in the future that will turn the country the way you have never seen. And things may flip up. If Buhari does not uh, address this issue before leaving office, it may be the last. He may be the last elected president that we may see to his end of days in office. So this is what you know he believes that um, currently Buhari is not doing anything about the current situation. As a matter of fact, Buhari cannot be bothered. He's, he's somebody who 
I mean, it's just there marking time, you know, just occupying an office. And so if they ask, does Nigeria have a president? He would say, yeah, Nigeria has a president. Yeah, Nigeria do have a president. But where is the president? So, I mean, when you look at it very much where, when we're speaking, you know that hmm, things are not what you thought. All you see is not all there is. So there is really, when you say fire on the mountain, you cannot be wrong by saying that. The country is already in turmoil as we speak. There is a lot of mishap and a lot of things that are not right currently going on. Are we going to continue in the same way, the same tangent? Are we going to continue with the same thing and pretend that all is well? You know, the Buhari have been asked over and over again, restructure the country, give back the states, the region, their power, so that, you know, they can bring about their own security. And this will end the whole kidnapping, security, insecurity things going on, because it is, it is left for you, it's your responsibility to see to it that your zone, your region is protected. So if you do nothing about it, you know, to a large extent, look at what just the Southwest governors are doing. Coming together and forming a part, a, forming a security outfit called Amuteko. You may not agree with it, but Amuteko, I mean, it's better. Amuteko is better there than when it's not there. Trust me. Just the fact that Amuteko is there, you know, has 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 prevented some things that would have happened. I cannot show you. In a state like Ondo State, for instance, thank God for Amuteko. Thank God for Amuteko. I can assure you. Lots more would have happened. Lot more people would have been dead if not that you know Amuteko, you know, was was put together. So what are we saying? If Buhari does not address this issue, why is Sunday Boho in custody? Why is he in custody? Because when he said Nigeria needs to, you know, things needs to change, it's the same mindset with a lot of people. And so when you see somebody sharing your 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 very idea, your dream, what do you do? You go in line and say, yes, this is what I've been trying to say all along. Thank you for making it clearer. And that's it. So everybody and anyone who believe in the same, the same thing as you will come out to say, thanks for speaking out. And that will become the order of the day. That's why Sunday Boho Unandi Kano have a lot of people who said, you have spoken well. Thanks for speaking our minds. Thanks for making them know that this is what we've been trying to say. It is what it is. It is what it is. So if we're going to change, if things are going to get better, we're going to come out of the current predicament, things have to be different. It can't be business as usual. We can't continue. We can't. We just can't continue. No way. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.